Oh, hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to review this tractor L3700SU. This was a special package in 2010 from Kubota. It included uh, the front end loader, the LA463. Uh, Kubota, uh, 4x4. So that is one of the awesome things we've got. This is the gearbox for the 4x4. Alright, so the gears are down here. I'll show you some more on that. Um, this is how you engage the 4x4. You pull it and it engages the 4x4. This is to lock your differential in the back. This is an automatic and uh, what do we got here as far as ours 523 523 hours Kubota diesel um, it's got the PTO I've got the box blade right now uh, but yeah you got your PTO right here 37 horsepower or no I believe the PTO is like 30 horsepower anyways uh, I guess one of the worst things is uh, the lights how they place the lights up here right on top of those uh, fenders uh, brushes and branches and little trees always knock them out they've been replaced several times and you can see here this one's completely gone uh, so yeah, four by four. Uh, we've got six acres here, six acres of land, and um, it, it's only used for stuff here around the house. It's not used agricultural use or anything like that. But uh, as you can see here, I'm moving some bricks. Uh, we're making a sidewalk with these old bricks. Uh, the the front end looks pretty good, pretty modern. Now this is a 2010, it's uh, 2018 right now. So this tractor is ten, uh, eight years old. And um, really I have no complaints, no complaints. If you're thinking about buying one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and start it right now. I'm gonna say that the lights up here is about the only problem. Other than that, huh, maybe uh, the fuel, fuel, the fuel cap is up here and as you can see I spill it sometimes uh, you have to use a funnel but other than that I got a uh, as far as uh, implements I have the uh, brush hog and it's uh, way over there that red one that's the brush hog So we've we've got a very very long driveway, and so as I was saying, this uh, long driveway on this side of the street, this little white line you see the gravel. Um, I don't know. It's about 2,000 feet long, and it goes around in front of this house. Um, the build of this bridge right here that you're seeing here in front of us, uh, you know, the material is moved around with this tractor okay so uh, I have not much to say but I'm gonna go ahead and start this tractor so you can hear uh, let's see all right here we go let's see
Okay, so uh, that was uh, moving it around, starting it, as y'all can see and hear the gears. Uh, that's another thing, it's kind of noisy, but it's been like that ever since new. Well, I'm trying to open this uh, hood here. Let me get you all down here. Okay, so the little hood ornament is how you pop the hood. Okay, uh, so here on the side you can see the alternator. I uh, believe this is the starter. You got your exhaust here. Uh, as I was saying, it is 4x4. Four four. So if you've got your battery up here up front air filter uh, radiator is all up here coolant and uh, so now we do keep it under a garage or under a carport uh, this is uh, this is the dirt it gets on by using it this week uh, but it stays pretty clean and that's why you're gonna see that the paint is still pretty shiny you know the fenders everything because we do keep it in under a cover so there's uh, hydraulic filters down here uh, motor oil filter oil fill uh, so yeah diesel three cylinder I believe and everything looks pretty clean new because it is kept inside all right guys i hope uh this was helpful helpful if you're thinking about getting you one of these this one's got 523 uh hours and uh if i was uh if i was recommending this tractor let's say i was uh, giving it to a family member I would be proud to give this thing to someone so what I'm trying to say by that is that it also if I was buying this exact model 2010 uh, I would feel very comfortable there's really nothing wrong with this thing it starts right up uh, the seat is in good condition because it's kept inside um, right now, uh, one of the hoses here in the hydraulics, uh, is leaking. Uh, that is the only thing that I need to work on. But, uh, yeah, really good tractors. You got to hear how it sounds, how it starts. This is a normal, everyday use tractor for us. And it's, uh, ready to go in any moment given so all right hopefully this was uh helpful to someone uh just want to compare maybe you want to compare your tractor or you're thinking about buying one of these 2010 3700 which is 37 horsepower automatic four by four front end loader the front end loader i forgot to mention is uh detachable and once you these are the legs this little legs you remove the pin and you you set them down and uh, you know you got to go through all this uh, this is where it disengages uh, but it, it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I've only done it once there's no need for that because other than the front end loader there is no other implements that need to go in front now in the back uh, yeah you have to get to uh, know how to use this and how to connect and disconnect and I always have someone else helping me when I'm doing the back uh, it is a small tractor but uh, it is still heavy I believe it's around 4,000 pounds 
which makes it as heavy as let's say a Toyota Corolla something like that uh, my trailer is a 20 foot trailer and with the front end I mean with the front end loader down on the floorboard and the cutter all the way back the cutter's got a wheel in the back matter of fact let me go over here and show you well the whole tractor with the cutter fits on a 20 foot trailer that's what I'm, I'm trying to tell you in case you're thinking what size trailer to get so here's our cutter uh, squealer uh, I believe this is like a 62 and here's the wheel here's the wheel right behind me right under my foot uh, so it extends out and uh, I'm gonna stand next to it so y'all can see the size of this thing uh, I'm a short person I'm only 5'3 but that is a massive cutter and uh, so anyways just a eight year review can you imagine that? An eight year review on this. We got a brand spanky Yay! new. And uh, it, it almost feels the same way other than it's dirty. <laughs> uh, so, all right guys, see you later. Please come back. I'm gonna be making more videos on this if people like this. Hit the thumbs up if you think this was helpful. Thank you guys.